Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got a new desk from Ikea and I'm gonna be reorganizing my whole makeup situation and um, I am in kind of the process of redoing my whole room and at first I don't think it's gonna match what I have right now but um, yeah, one thing at a time. Um, but yeah, just gonna do this and I'll probably show you guys later uh, my makeup collection and then probably do like a small declutter. So. So this is where my makeup is currently at and as you can tell I don't have enough room at all like space I guess to do my makeup and everything is just like <sighs> too much. So I am really happy to be um, setting up the new IKEA desk so then I have more room to put all my stuff in there but like this is a freaking mess. like. And when I first started getting into makeup, like, that organizer over here was the first one that I bought. And I outgrew it real quick. And now I'm outgrowing this little desk. So, I'm really excited to have a new one. And maybe I should get another brush holder. But I am going to try to, like, make things, like, match once the room is finally done and I'll be showing you guys that so I'm gonna take everything off this over here right now and then start like the declutter process and I'm putting everything back into the new IKEA one so so I'm pretty much ready to start putting my makeup away and um here's what the top's looking like I really wanted to have like a wooden tray so I'm not sure if I want to keep this one which is a little bit smaller or this one it's bigger, has the little handles, and it's just like a lighter kind of wood. And the other pieces that I'm getting from my room are also lighter ones, so I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, I just want to keep my skincare here and my sponges, um, some perfumes maybe. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep my MAC lipsticks out here, just because like that doesn't really take up much space. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Um, just my brushes, some receipts, and my mirror. Um, and I went to GMX and, um, Target, and I just bought some, like, these little thingies from my drawers, and I kind of started, like, trying to see how it would look in here, so, um, I have those, I have, like, a longer one over here, this one is from Target, and I also got this larger one and um it fits really nicely in like the bigger drawers not the small one but it feels it, it fits nicely on this one so this is where i want to keep my foundation stuff but um i guess i'm just going to go through my stuff organize it and maybe possibly do a small declutter so so i used to keep all my um compacts mainly in this little guy so i'm just gonna go through it and I guess just separate them by bronzer, blush, and highlight, and organize everything. Um, let's do blush here. I already have a couple in here. These are my Milani ones. And ideally, this would be facing the other way. 
so that's how I'm gonna have them facing. So, um, yeah, we have Wet and Wild, Milani that I want to keep towards the front, Sephora. I guess um, I haven't used this in a minute so hopefully like all the things that I haven't used in a while I will use now that like once I open this everything is here and I'll be able to see it and like reach for it more often so that's what I'm hoping will happen I'm gonna take this one out of the box this is like so pretty I'm put it here. I have my Nars one. I have a few elves, elf ones. My Becca um, Opal Flashes Jade. This one is so pretty. I guess I do have a lot of highlighters and I just never realized it. Um, next blush. I'm gonna put this is like a blush, but I would use it as a contour powder. But I think I'm just gonna keep it with my bronzers to be honest. A little hula bronzer. Um this this one's a Milani like a uh, face powder to set your face but the shade I really liked so I I used to use it as a bronzer so and I have Cindy Luminizer that I never use but I don't really want to get rid of it. Um I'm gonna try to use it a little bit more. So here's some more. I have this blush from Kat Von D that I haven't used in a while. Um, but I do like it, it's really pretty. I have another bronzer. I actually didn't realize I had like this much stuff to be honest with you because it all fit in here and I was like laying out. Um, I do have some single eyeshadows that I kind of forgot about so I am going to have to see where I put those. Uh, Bobbi Brown blush. Where are my blushes? Right here. This is a ColourPop highlighter. Uh, guys, we'll put that over here. But I mainly use this as eyeshadow because it's way too dark for me. So I think I'm just going to keep it with my singles. This Essence blush is really pretty. I like the orange side of it a lot. And the rest that's in here are single eyeshadows. So I'm just going to wait on that and there's also like a lot of extra room back here um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this but it's nice to have it because i buy a lot of stuff so in this one i want to keep my foundations just because um this little container is taller and it fits nicely in like the little drawers over here um foundations primers and yeah that's what it's gonna I do have this liquid highlighter that I'm going to put up here. I forgot about this one. I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, and I also forgot about this little brush. Blush. Really nice one from Glossier. This one's in the shade Beam. And I do use this quite often, so I'm just going to pop this back here. You guys can see that, but it's there. Oh, and I also have this that I'm going to keep with my foundations, obviously. Um... And I forgot to pull out my YSL foundation, so we're gonna keep this bad boy here too. I have a lot of stuff like still in boxes, so I'm trying to pull them out as I go. Um, my Becca, other Becca primer. And for setting sprays, I have the Milani one, this Flower Beauty one. And I have a little bit left of my MAC Fix Plus. This is the regular one. Um, I feel like once it gets really low, it starts like, spraying really funny. So I mainly kind of use it for wetting my brush, to be honest. And this gorgeous thing I have here. Um, this is the Gold Light. I really like this. So I'm going to keep that right here. It's all my other ones. That's not going to close. Okay, it's not going to close with them, so I'm probably going to keep this up on top. Actually, I have like three other makeup sponges. I have one sitting on top by the tray. 
And I think I'm just going to keep this one's maybe like back here or off to the side just in case I need more. So I decided that in this one I'm going to keep my setting powders and like my other face products like um, my naked skin palette because I have my contour stuff in there. Um, my yeah, setting powders and my dark circle corrector. I think I'm going to keep my concealers here. So I'm going to grab those real quick. I'm going to try to exchange this one for the creaseless concealer by Tarte because I really want to try it and I hate this one. So I'm just going to keep it in here for now. Um, these are my wet, wet and wild ones. Those I really like. So keeping those. The Maybelline Fit Me ones are really nice too. I don't really like this one so... I don't really like getting rid of makeup, but I think I'm gonna let it go. And uh, I don't like this for my under eyes, but I do like it for like blemishes and stuff. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then I just have my Glossier one, so keeping that as well. Actually, I'm gonna take the sticker of this thing real quick. Okay, so I have my two Morphe palettes that I almost never use. So those are going to go towards the back. Um, I'm going to just take this out of the box. I always kept it in the box, but um, it's dirty anyway. So I'm just going to keep my Jacqueline Hill palette up here. Um, I have these two Tarte palettes that came in like a little holiday set along with other stuff. Don't really use them, but um, I do like the colors. I mean, this one's really neutral, and this one's more like, I don't know, a little bit more cool tone. So I'm going to stick those back here. I have this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I really like this one, especially the shade over here. Um, keeping this one. I'm going to just put this... My three Anastasia palettes that I'm keeping, of course. And I still gotta get like Soft Glam and the new Norvina one. I'm definitely gonna be getting that. Um, um, I have like two little palettes from Colourpop. But it's like you kind of make your own. And they have four shades inside. This one's really pretty. Keeping this. Just bought it actually, so. And that one's really nice too. I'm gonna stack those. I have this four single shadows from Anastasia. I'm gonna keep that. And I know everything looks like I'm taking up too much room, but uh, if I have the space, that's okay. And like if I end up needing to reorganize because I have more, then I'll do that. But for now, I can do this and not have a problem. Um, this is another palette by Colourpop, and it has like this really pretty. Like coral shades. I have mostly Colourpop ones. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. But like I said, for now I have the space so I can have things just laying down. I have this little Victoria's Secret eyeshadow that I like never use, but I don't even know why I bought it. Okay, I think that's it for eyeshadows. really pretty so I think over here I'm gonna have my lipsticks like regular lipsticks that are like in a bullet so I wonder if they would do an exchange at Sephora if I wanted to we'll see um, but yeah this one's really dry so I can't even use some I'm gonna keep them for back let's see um, I do have the other Smashbox Smashbox lipsticks that are coming in the bullet form and I really I really do like this ones a lot so I'm gonna keep those and I got them both at an outlet mall so it was like super cheap keeping those there and I also have like four Anastasia lipsticks in the bullet form and I do like to keep the boxes just because it's really easy even though I know the names it's really easy to just kind of see the color at the top and grab it that's pretty much the same reason why I keep my MAC lipsticks in the box because I know them by name by now 
and it's just easier to pick one up and have it and put it on than like having to go through them all to find the color that I need. And then this little fancy one that I think it's not gonna stay up so I'm just gonna throw it in here. One thing that I didn't really think about was like mascaras because I have a few and I don't know how to store them. I'm gonna show you guys first the ones that I want to keep and then the ones that I want to get rid of because I do have some mascaras that I just don't like. Um, I have my Lancome one that I do love. This one's really nice as well. Um, this one is the Balm Tall, Dark, and Handsome. And I do like this one a lot, but the cap kind of broke. So it's just kind of been sitting there and I should probably throw it out, but it's still good, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can get a couple more uses out of it. If not, I'll probably end up repurchasing. Um, I have this one, Maybelline Total Temptation. I have the Too Faced one that I like, and then I have the Balm Matte Lash, so that one I like too. Um, this Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational, I use it every once in a while. It's not the best, not the worst. I'm gonna keep it. And then the two that I'm gonna get rid of are by Tarte. Um, Tarte Lash Lights Camera Lashes. I don't think this really does anything for my lashes. I know a lot of people like it, I just don't think it's for me. And it is pretty old and probably dry, so it should probably go to the garbage. And then I can't remember what I bought, but it came with like this little lights, camera, flashes. Don't like this one at all. I think I used it like twice. So this is kind of all over the place, but going back to the lipsticks, um, I found this little bite one, so I'm going to keep it. So I have this gloss from Tarte. Um, I do like it, but it's really sticky. I like the color though. But it's really sticky and I don't really use it because I'm always grabbing my fancy one. So I don't think I have any use for it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, I've never really used this one but it is really pretty so I'm gonna keep it. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Gloss in the shade Glistening Berry. It is actually really pretty so I'm keeping that. This one is a Bare Mineral Buttercream Lip Gloss. I think I've used it like once and then kind of forgot about it. And it's not sticky, so actually that's really nice. Yeah, I'm going to try to use this more. I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one again. This one and this lip gloss by Tarte came in like the holiday set with the eyeshadows that I was just talking about. Um, I'm going to get rid of both. Then I have this next one. Um, it's a little too light for me, I think. Maybe it would be nice with like other lipsticks. I'm gonna and then I have those three like little pencil thingies or like crayon thingies from Tarte. Again, the same holiday set that I bought. The colors are pretty, I just don't really reach for them all that much. I have I think I have other lipsticks that I like way more, so I'm gonna see if I get some use out of them. Not quite sure, so I'm going to stick them off to the side because I'm not sure about them yet. Um, I have this little sleek metallic lipstick that came with a highlighting palette. Not a big fan of the color. I mainly bought the kit for the highlighting palette. I'm going to put it back here too. I'm going to think about it. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I ever even wore it, so we'll see. I have two Maybelline lipsticks over here. This one is way too light for me. Yeah, that's way too light for me. I think I'm gonna let this one go, but I am gonna keep this one. I do like the color. It's a little bit darker, so keeping this. I have a few more lipsticks over here. Um, Wet and Wild, I like the color a lot. I'm gonna keep it, and it's a pretty close dupe to the Urban Decay 1993 lipstick, but this is like literally like $2, I think. Um, I, I haven't used this in a while, but I do like it. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. Gonna keep it. And then I have two Bare Mineral Lip Glosses that I bought at like TG Maxx a while back. Don't really use them. I'm gonna keep them, see if I get some use out of them. If not, I'll probably end up giving them away. But I went through a phase where I was looking for the most concealer looking lipstick ever. Um... And yeah, never looked that great with them. I really don't like getting rid of um, makeup, but I just need to let it go. Um, nope. 
Then I also have this e.l.f. high definition powder. I only used it like once, I think, and the flashback is what kind of scares me. Um, it's not like I get my picture taken or anything, but I just don't really like it. And maybe I like that maybe only fit me little setting powder, and that's what I use. So this one's going. And this is really old. The only reason why I'm throwing it out is because it's old. Um, the Colossal Chaotic Lash by Maybelline. I really did like this. Um, I was into like the clumpy look for a while, so I really liked it. But it's it's pretty old, so it's gonna go. Oh, I forgot I had this Milani little lip gloss. I'm gonna keep it. Got it at TJ Maxx. This is kind of random at this point. Um, the Pixie Glow Tonic, definitely liked it. But I got the, the Ordinary toner, so I've been using that. I would recommend this though, but it's really good. But it's empty. And I didn't really like this little guy. It's like the sample size of the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. Like it smells good, but it shoots kind of weird. And I didn't really notice much of a difference in my makeup, so I'm gonna let this one go. I forgot about this guy. This is a lipstick. It goes right here. I don't know where I'm gonna put my mascaras. Uh... I'm gonna put my lip pencils here and keep it on top. Okay, a few more lipsticks that I found. Uh, most of them are Maybelline or CoverGirl. This one's CoverGirl, Maybelline, and it's just like a sheer lipstick. I am keeping a couple of the nudes just to see if I use them or not. If not, I'll give them away. And this is the MAC one, the Tender Talk, whatever. So I'm going to keep that on top with the other ones. And this one... Ugh. I got it at TJ Maxx, and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm going to keep it just in case I decide to use it. And then when I was at the outlet mall, I got two YSL lip glosses. Okay, I'm definitely gonna keep this one and I'm gonna throw the boxes out now that I'm doing all this. This one's really pretty. I really like this one. So I'm gonna pop it in there. So this is the final setup of my vanity. Here I have the tray and I decided to go with the bigger one with the handles. And I'm keeping some skincare over here along with a couple of my perfumes and my setting sprays. Um, next I have uh, my lip liners and my brushes, my mirror, and my MAC lipsticks. And that gives me a lot of space for when I have to do my makeup. Next to the drawers, this is how I ended up organizing everything. Um, I have some random stuff in the back, so ignore that. But here I have my compacts, bronzers, blush, and highlight. I ended up putting the other tray in here to keep my lipsticks. And it's easier for me to see all of them along with my bullet lipsticks. Here I have more like face products, concealers, um, setting powders, contouring, foundations, primers, and a couple backups that I'm keeping back there. Here I have my eyeshadow palettes. I just got this one in the mail, so I'm really excited to be using it. And the rest down here are like Anastasia ones. Um, but yeah, eyeshadow palettes, singles, they're in the back, more palettes towards the back, and where the lipsticks used to be, I put my mascaras and eyebrow stuff and eyeliners, so. And I still need to organize a little bit because this palette needs to go in here. But um, yeah, I just ordered this one as well. It's the Morphe 39A. Really happy to be using it too. But yeah, that is the final setup.